Hey guys, it's Mike McElroy with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com right here at my personal home gym. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the different types of flies, primarily cable crossover and um, just a regular chest fly. A lot of people don't really understand the different angles that you use when you're in standing in a cable machine, whether you have a high attachment point, a mid, or a low attachment point, it plays a key role depending on the areas of the pecs that you guys want to hit. So first things first, I'm going to go through a couple different variations and explain to you guys the benefits of actually how this works. First things first, when you want to do a regular traditional cable crossover, or in this instance you want to do a high cable fly, a lot of people will you know, put the cables up at a high point and they'll come down here and they'll do this, okay? And that's great, but that's not really the correct form and the correct way to do it. What you want to do is you want to stand in an upright position to where you're standing up, your feet can be staggered, they can be straight together, your arms, if you can see my arms are extended above my shoulder line, that constitutes a high cable fly. And what we want to do here is as we step down in this erect position, we want to keep our shoulders back, not hunch forward, but keep our shoulders back. And as we come down, we're coming down into an arcing fashion and squeezing our hands right at above, right below our belly button here. Our, our arms are slightly bent. We can have them a little bit straight, but I like to bend them to where we can really accentuate the squeeze in the downward position. As we come up, we're expanding those pecs back up, allowing a stretch. Come down and flexing at the bottom here. Come up and all the way back up. Now, the area of the pecs that we're working when we do this particular movement is the lower portion of the pecs and also the inner part of the pecs. Remember, the pecs are a fan-shaped muscle. So when we do other exercises to where we step out and we come here more in front, now we're targeting more of the middle part of the pecs because our hands are more in front of us versus down here, okay? Down here, we're getting a different type of a contraction than we are up here. So this is more of a mid cable fly than a high cable fly, okay? Different parts of the chest are emphasized based on the level that we have the cables in the, in the grip position and the angle in which we're moving the, the weight. So remember, when you guys are doing cable crossovers, think about the area of the pecs that you want to target. Whether you want to target the upper, the middle, or the lower. In this instance, when we're talking about wanting to target the lower portion of the pecs, we're going to go with a high cable fly, stand erect, shoulders back, come down, squeeze, up, squeeze, and squeeze, and then relax. If you guys want a workout program that utilizes not just the high cable fly, but all variations to target the chest and give you guys some great results, make sure you log into the site. It is 100% free, okay? There are hundreds of workout programs you guys can use, share, create your own. They're all available using our iPhone, Droid, and smartphone apps. So if you guys have a workout program, go get it, download the apps, have access to pretty much every program that guys like myself, Jim Stepani, Gunnar Peterson, Anthony DeLuglio, so many others are riding on the site, guys. We have many experts who write all types of programs, and WorkoutTrainer.com is a place to get them all. All right? If you guys have any questions, ask me on Facebook or in the community section. Find me under Trainers. I will answer your questions, guys. Until next time, this is Mike Macklin with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com. Take care.